G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, recently I did a video showing this trick little screwdriver I've got. I've got two lengths, two versions. And it was uh, something I inherited from my father, who was a motor mechanic all of his life. And it's great, you can use it to start uh, slot head screws. That's what it's made for. And you don't see them in shops. I hadn't seen them around at all anywhere. So I thought I'd put up a video and show what's available, you know, what was around in the old days. And got a lot of comments back on it. A lot of people said, oh, yeah, I've got one of those, and my father had those, and basically got the info on it, and they are basically used for gripping slot head screws to put a set of points in vehicle distributors, which is in line with what my father did because he was a motor mechanic all of his life and in the military. And so this would have been invaluable for getting in, dropping the, that, little, that little bolt in and without getting it, you know, losing it down in amongst the vacuum advance <laughs> uh, mechanism. So yeah, these would have been handy. But anyway, of course I don't use points in cars these days, but this is still a very handy gadget for slot head screws. I'll put a screw on it and show you how it looks. So here it is with a screw, and as I said, these are for starting screws. They're not, and bolts, threaded bolts. They're not built to take a big heavy load because they haven't got anywhere near as strong a blade on them as a conventional screwdriver. And the blade is in three pieces. It's two outer sections which align it and the center section which spring loaded and twists to, uh, to do the gripping. And they work great, you know, they're very, very, very useful and very handy on, you know, difficult screws and bolts. I thought to myself, you know, what if they still make a modern version of these? And in the comments, because you never see them in shops, I've never seen them anywhere. And I had done a quick search on the internet to see if I could find, you know, if there was a modern version of this, and I didn't find anything, but I wasn't, obviously I wasn't searching with the right wording. And then some people in the comments said, they, now, they also make a Phillips head version of this, because this is just a slotted head one. And I thought, gee, that'd be handy, because these days the sort of the de facto standard is Phillips head or torque bolts, you know. And I know they don't make them for torque screws, but Phillips head would be handy. So I had a bit of a look and I couldn't find anything. But anyway, then people got back and said, no, you, you should be searching on screw starter. So I did and Googled that and up came quite a few brands. And the brands that came up were Stanley, Ullman and Facom. They were the main ones. The Stanley and the Ullman look very, very similar. And they're a similar sort of style pattern to this, same sort of action. They have a blade on one end and they have a Phillips head on the other and they both seem to work on a similar sort of engagement dog with a spring loading. They weren't very expensive. I thought, oh, my God, I'll get one of those. That'll be handy. So I've bought one off of Amazon. It was $18. Stanley one, it was a Stanley model Pro J9866. It looks very similar to the Ullman six and a quarter inch version. In fact, they would look identical. And then Facom make a whole lot of single ended ones and uh, they come in Phillips or blade, depending on what you want. So I've got the double, the double ended one. And I thought today we'd have a look at it and see how it compares to, to this on the blade and also how good the Phillips end bit works because it's hard to imagine how that would work. So there's the old style ones. These would be from the 50s, I'd say, probably. Could be even older. There's no branding on these. Oh, hang on, yes, there is. There is branding on this one. What's it say? This one says, made in, in England, Varney Sheffield. So this is actually English. I was thinking it might have been American because I thought I had quite a bit of American stuff in the tooling. Yeah, hand tools, but no, that's it's British, Barney. Okay. So you can see very similar. 
and on the Phillips head end, this is totally different. This is, uh, it's still two bladed. Where is it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same sort of thing, but it's shaped for Phillips head. So I'm just hoping it works. I've never seen it. I'll try this end first and see how it goes. I'll put a glove on because I've injured my finger, my thumb, and uh, I don't want to have blood going everywhere. So we twist it and pull, the same as the other one. The middle bit slides back in. So basically, you've just got the two exposed locators. I hope you can see this. It's a bit tricky trying to do this with a daggy finger. So we put it in, push it, and there it is, it grips it. So it certainly grips it hard enough to to start the screw. Then it unclips. Let's compare it to this one. We'll see if there's much difference in the way they grip. I think that one grips harder. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it does. Woo! We'll try the Stanley again on a wood screw. Yeah, so it does the job. I don't think it, the blade's not as wide, not, not quite as big as on the, the UK ones, the English ones, so, but it, uh, it, it grips okay, but it not quite as secure as these old ones. All right, let's try the Phillips head ones and see what happens now. This is the bit that I'm interested in. So yeah, it's the same setup again. You just rotate and engage the, the little dog. You're basically extending the whole thing. And then we just put it in and see what happens. Hey. That's really good. That's really good. Excellent. Yeah. I'll get a different size PK. All right, we'll try this style head and see what happens. Yep. Yep, no problem. That's good, I like that Phillips head thing. That's really good. All right, now we'll go for a sm real small one, see what happens. I haven't tried any of these before, so we'll see. Obviously, the, uh, the width of the, of the tip is going to limit the size of screw that you can go down to. And... For this reason, FACOM make a whole range of different sized Phillips head gripping tips for different sized screws. So the Stanley one is simply, you know, um, averaging out what's around there and going for what's the most popular size, I suppose, most common in the home workshop. So, yep, that's going to be your limit. These are two common sized uh, bolts that we'd use in a computer, in a PC, to secure the hard drive and other components. And you can see that that is too wide. It's not going to grip either of those. So if you've got the idea that this is going to be good for computers, think again, 
and this is going to be an issue with a lot of your Phillips head screws. Anything which is really small, this will definitely not work. It's only going to be good for certain sizes. I think that this issue is profile related. The uh, Yep, it goes in, but then it's not, it's not gripping, it's, it's skidding out when it uh, tries to tighten up. It just falls off every time, and I've tried probably a dozen different, different screw heads, and they've all got the same issue. Okay, so I tested it out on a range of Phillips head screws. I've got <laughs> hundreds and there's only just some of them and overall there's only really one size or close sizes that it actually does work well with it won't work on real big ones and it won't work on small ones i'll show you the size that it it basically works quite well on but that's basically it so this is it you can see that the actual blade width has got to be close to the the screw width, if it's too big, it will just fall out. And if it's too small, it won't go in deep enough for the twisting blade to actually do anything. It, uh, it just won't come out. It can't go out and into the slot. For the blade to actually work, the, the blade would have to be, have the corners ground off, I think. And, uh, and then once you do that, it won't. It won't grip any other sort of screw. So, yeah, it's a compromise. It, as I said, good for this size, works very well. Anything else, forget it. But of course, a lot of these screws also have slot in them as well. You see, they do this with Phillips quite often. They now put a, a blade slot in them. So which case you can use the other end but anyway not as good as I expected but then I was curious as to how this would even work in the first place so <laughs> yeah overall yep it's about I suppose what what you could wish for so is it worth $18 yeah I think it is because it's handy certainly the, the flat blade end the plain slotted blade end works fine no problems with that. It uh, it does the job. The Phillips head end, which is basically the bonus, it works as I said on certain sizes, but it won't work on the real small, and it won't work on the real big. And yeah, the actual profile is a bit sketchy, you know. It uh, it's certainly limited in what it can do. But it could be just what you want. It just depends what you're working with. But certainly for computer case screws, no, no good at all. Forget it. And uh, move on to something else. All right. Well, that's it for me. I hope you found it useful and interesting. I was keen to see how this would perform. And, yeah, it basically came in about what I expected. I, I really had problems seeing how one size would fit all with Phillips head screws because that just that doesn't work with the screwdrivers themselves and it certainly isn't going to work with one of these. Okay, that's it from me. See you next time. Cheers.